Hi there. This is just going to be a quick one. Okay. So, obviously yesterday, or the last video, we could see that this was some type of broccoli. It's actually called broccoli rob. That's how you pronounce it. What I thought I had gotten was broccolini, but that's okay. So I read up on it, and you can see there's another little head coming out there. It actually, let's look in here and see if we got more. Yeah, you can see where it's gonna make some more. Actually, it's supposed to be a little bit more uh, bitter than, let's say, the broccolini. We'll look through here, see if we can find any more heads. There's one right there. So it's going to be a little more bitter. The leaves would be like turnip greens, I suppose, from the way I understood it. Which meant, I mean, you can eat turnip greens raw or cooked. What they actually tell you to do now, several different people, would be to cut it off the main stem somewhere between six and ten inches down. So, you know, if I went six down, that'd be about right there. And so this one, you can see there's a little yellow on it. So it'll, it'll start going to seed if I don't here shortly. Do that for it. Um, anyway, so it's not exactly what I wanted. What I really, really wanted was the broccolini, which is kind of a different species. It's still the broccoli, but this is more of a broccoli turnip. So, what you end up doing is you cut that down, and then you can, of course, eat it just like broccoli, except the stems are supposed to be really tender on this, not like broccoli. And you can as, as well go ahead and steam the leaves with it, or saute them, however you want to do it. Every recipe I've seen included uh, garlic with it. It's more of an Italian vegetable, was my understanding of it. I'm sure there are people out there listening that know more about it than I do because now see this is what happens when you run in my garden that's what happens don't don't get in my bed um, like I said it's not what I thought it was but that's okay it, it'll work I mean and I've got plenty of it because look how well it grows here it grows really well I mean, it's my understanding it actually and look at that little thing. Ah, get off there, get off there. He wasn't little either. So it's my understanding that this is more of an Italian type. But it's okay, it's, it's gonna get, get blanched and go in the freezer like everything else. Um, you can freeze it, we'll eat it, probably we'll eat all of this fresh. And, like this, when it's ready, that'll probably be enough to put in a bag for the freezer. But so I just wanted to let you know that. Um, it didn't really rain today per se. And then, but it's supposed to all week. And I'm gonna come out here and clean off my tomatoes. It's taken these a long time to get this tall. They're just short, bushy little things, and they do need cleaned up a little bit. And so I'll be doing that. But yeah, so that's what Broccoli Rob is the name of it. Look at all the little gnats. They're loving it because there's another little head. So I think what I'm going to do, obviously, is you've got to cook it up. You've got to taste it when you take it out. Now, I don't think it's going to be any different than turnip greens or collards or spinach are the lights. You better not be going to seed on me in there, you little bok choy. I hope not. And so I'll try the leaves in a salad and steamed or sauteed with a little vinegar or a little lemon juice because that's what I like on spinach. So that's how I'm going to try it. And I'll let you know.
what I think of it. And I hope I like it, because if I don't like it, then uh, I sure got a lot of it, huh? And I'll probably hear some spinach here. So it's looking like we got a, another salad coming out of this bed, especially if we put these leaves in with it off of that plant. That would be, let's make a lot of salad, huh, for two people. All right, just a little tidbit I wanted to share with you. Happy gardening tall.